As you can see, as I was saying in the last vid, you can run over here and it won't be alert. It is right there. That guy drops bloodstone chunks. You want those bloodstone chunks. So just walk over till you can lock on. There, you're locked on and just walk he'll get alerted that's when you start running and you attack and then you got yourself a upgrade item bloodstone chunk times two yes sir and that's it for this little area there's the chest the bloodstone chunk and that's it so then you make your way back whatever side you want to go back on And then you go up these stairs here. Keep going up. <clears throat> and then you're on the roof. There's a couple of gargoyles up here. See, look, he's doing that sonic boom attack. Which you can easily avoid by running towards him and then dodging to the left or the right. Preferably the right which is his left because he when he starts that attack it it starts from uh, his right and goes towards the left so you want to dodge on your right his left come up behind him and just finish him off there's an item here you grab it it's part of that uh, armor the last armor that you did pick up there's gonna be two more gargoyles dropping down so you hit that guy twice back up because this guy will hit you back up. Smack. Oh, shit. Back up. There's that attack. They're dead. Alright, that's it. Here, I'll show you that uh, suit. That armor suit with the wig. It looks pretty cool. Oh, see, I already have it. I have two of them now, so. There's the wig. There's the knight's garb, uh, knight's gloves, and oh, knight's trouser dress. See how cool it looks? That's pretty cool. Right? There, that looks better. You can see it even better. If you go up against the wall, then you can get a real close-up if you put the camera in front of you. See? That's my character. Look at how cool she looks, man, with her hair, her green eyes, her, her beauty mark. Her green beauty mark. That's Zelorna. Oh, no. Not Zelorna. Frizzell. That's Frizzell. My other character is Alona. My strength uh, melee build. This is my arcane build. So yeah. Let's switch back to my regular stuff. Uh, what the hell did I have on? Yeah, I had that. And I had... Shit. Um, he has thrust, so I should have something with thrust defense. That's pretty good. The black gloves. Okay, I'm gonna equip those right now. Anything else with thrust that's higher than 60, I will equip. Nope. That's way better. Uh, the pants. What pants did I have on? Something with high thrust here. Yeah, we'll go with that. I think that's what I had on originally.
So yeah, look at somebody's death. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he fucking died. How did he die? Oh, he fell off too early. Look at this, people. That's where you're supposed to go, right? Like, when you come here, you're like, well, okay, so where do I go now? This this was exactly me, too, when I first got here. I was like, where the fuck do I go? So then I was like, do I, am I supposed to drop down there? But then where does it go? Because when you come over here and you look at it, you're like, okay, I can probably walk on to there. But I don't want to risk it. What if I get stuck down there? So then what I did, I spent probably another hour or so when I first came here. I went back. I went all the way back and I was looking everywhere else where to go. And I was like, well, where the fuck am I supposed to go? So then I came back over here and I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to drop down here. So you drop down here, there's no, no items here, and then you walk along this thing, right? There's no item on the other side, but I'll show you, just in case you want to see. There's nothing here. You can, you can walk onto this. Oh shit, I almost fell off. But yeah, there's nothing there, as you can see. Nothing at all, right? So just walk onto here, and then just drop down here. Walk on over. And as you can see, the railing stops here. So then logically, you'll think, well, maybe I have to drop down onto here. So of course, you just drop down here. Just walk. You don't have to jump. And here, you'll take a little bit of damage. But yeah, you just drop down to here. Heal up. And then go. And there's an item right here. Ladder. Take the ladder, of course. I have 19 blood vials. Oh god, I don't even have any bullets. I might have to uh, use a blood hunter's mark and respawn. Because I do need those bullets to fight this boss. I cannot fight this boss without bullets. And that's why they give it to you here, I'm pretty sure. Just in case you don't have enough blood vials or bullets. Because you do need that. The strategy calls for it. You need it big time. So there's only those over there on that side. That's like if you're facing the archway, that's the left. There's only the Blood Hunter's Mark item. It's plus two. And then you look on this side. There's nothing. I'm just showing you people so you don't have to like say, well, what if there's anything over here? He didn't go over here. So I'm just showing you. There's nothing else. There's just that item there. And then onwards to the boss. It seems like a really small dungeon. Like a really small area to, to take on. But if you're coming here without any knowledge whatsoever. And you do not know the moveset of these, these enemies here. And this boss included. You're going to be here for a while. You're going to be here for a while figuring this out, right? Especially if you're not looking on YouTube at videos or you're not looking at uh, some kind of game site like GameFAQs or the wiki for tips. If you're coming in here blind, you're, you're going to be here for a while trying to figure this out. So hopefully this, this, these little guides for Castle Kanehurst, which is by far my favorite dungeon in Bloodborne, helps out somebody, right? So from here, if you want to continue on with the boss, I do, but I can't. I mean, I can, but if I do continue on with the boss, I will get fucked up. I will get fucked over. Because I have no silver bullets to take out that stake that he drives into the ground. So once you pass this archway, that's it. There's no, there's, there's no return. You're stuck. The veal comes up and you have to fight the boss. So that's the boss. So we're going to use a Blood Hunter's Mark. Go back and get some... Uh, go back and get some bullets. And uh, fix my runes. Because my runes are uh, all dedicated to getting uh, blood bucks. So in order to go back to the lamp, the last lamp you used... You just use a bold hunter's mark. It's like a homeward bone. 
And Dark Souls. Yes. And then you wake up at the lamp. With all your uh, blood bucks intact. But the thing is, everything respawns, I'm pretty sure, right? No, it didn't. Or did it? Let's see here. Hang on. It's been a while since I used one of these. Yeah, everything respawns. Look at that. Everything respawns. So we're going to go back home, fix my runes. Come back and take on the boss. <clears throat> I can only imagine how hard this boss is going to be on New Game Plus. I had a hell of a time fighting this boss on my own. On the first playthrough. So we're going to head back here. This is where you fix your runes. So we're going to take that off, take that off. Uh, oh, shit. So for this... This rune right here... It... It, uh... Well, as you can read there, it says Vile HP Recovery Up. So when you use a Blood Vial, it heals more than what it usually does. I'm gonna take that off. Or should I leave it on? I'm more inclined to use the Stamina Recovery Speed Up. Mm, nah, nah, we'll keep this on. So we'll keep that. Jeez, why do I do that? So we'll keep that on. And we'll start from memory slot one. And these runes help you, uh, they're like little buffs that stay with you throughout, uh, throughout your game until you change them again. So these ones, they boost your max HP by plus five, plus ten. Stamina plus 10, plus 15. Max Vile's head up plus 1. So I do the 4. Max Vile's head up plus 4. So instead of just the regular 20, you get plus 4. So that's 24. So of course I'll use that. Move over to slot 2. And uh, max QS bullets held up plus 4. Which is a really good rune to have. And I think I might, yeah, I'll use that. So we'll have 24 health files and 24 silver bullets. And for the last one, we are going to use the all damage reducer, which is, I can't remember what it's called here. Physical damage reduction, no. Arcane damage, no. Fire damage, bolt damage, all damage reduction plus 3, all damage reduction plus 4. That's the one right there. Great Lake, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Or is it. Is there a different one? Add all types of resistance plus 50, which is plus, plus 100. That's good. Um. See, if you hit triangle, you can see what, what's building up. What, what adds to it slow so so my slow poison resistance goes up my rapid poison resistance goes up my frenzy resistance goes up so I don't really need to worry about those three because this boss doesn't have that shit so we're gonna go back to uh, all damage reduction plus four and if you look here on this page all the damage reduction is plus it's in the blue which means it's higher than what it was so we're gonna use that so for this boss battle we have the communion rune plus four blood vials the formless rune which is plus four silver bullets and then the great lake rune which is all damage reduction plus four percent and then we're going to use the Vile HP Recovery up. That should be good. Should be able to take on this boss now. As you can see in the upper left corner, it still says 2020. Uh, sometimes it glitches and you have to travel in and out of an area more than once for it to go to 24. Let's hope it just goes to 24 without uh, any bullshit. So 